so you've got this generation, right, millennials, and they grew up right as the PC era began. And it's important to understand that because in the PC era, education took a new track. And when they looked at kids in school, they said, hey, you know what? Instead of addressing behavioral problems, we're just going to ignore them. So from now on, everybody's a winner. Everybody's going to get a trophy. Everybody's kid is special. They're, they're beautiful. They're elegant. Nothing they do is wrong. They should never be held accountable for any of their actions. Okay? And this is the thing that these kids grew up hearing day in and day out. And a large majority of them, once they became adults, became extremely narcissistic because they've been raised on this idea that they are special. Look at all those trophies they've got. That must mean something. I mean, sure, they're all fucking participation trophies, but they're fucking trophies nonetheless. So they grow up hearing this, and they, they get this ego, they get this narcissism, that they're the center of the fucking universe. Now, when you combine that with technology, right, with all these smartphones and tablets and laptops, and then social media services like uh, Twitter and Facebook, it just adds fuel to the fire. Because now that person that thinks in their head that they're super special and that everything they do is really important can now tell everybody about how important and how special they are. Because absolutely everybody has to know that I just took a shit, so I better tweet that out. Everybody absolutely has to know that, you know, my fucking favorite color is blue. Let me go on Facebook and tell them. The world needs to hear this shit because I am the center of the fucking universe. So that's what you've got. You've got these group of people that are super narcissistic, and they've got the technology that just adds fuel to the fire, right? And then here comes these really crazy social justice warriors. And they tell these people the one thing they really want to hear. And that one thing is, nothing you do is wrong. The reason your life is shit and the reason you feel unfulfilled and things aren't going your way is because somebody out there is oppressing you. If you're gay, it's the straight guy. He's oppressing you. If you're a woman, it's the man. Man, you know, men are oppressing you. If you're transsexual, it's those, it's those horrible cis people. Are you a minority? Are you a black guy? Well, all those white people, they're holding you down. So now you have a narcissist who's essentially been told that, oh my god, all the things in my life that are wrong aren't a result of my shitty fucking personality. Instead, I'm being oppressed by everybody. And now it never ends. Because if they ever admit to themselves that the bullshit they've been sold is untrue, it means they have to look at themselves and say, holy shit, I'm a dick. And that is why it's grown fucking out of control. And, and these groups of people, these social justice warriors, they're not activists. You look at the groups they've infested and destroyed, and there's a long history of it. Go look at the science wars. Go look at somebody like Sokol, who was talking about all these you know, postmodernists coming into STEM-related fields and wanting to write articles about how chemistry is racist and how gravity is sexist and all this crazy shit. And here's this, these people in science are like, what the fuck are they talking about? This is insane. But it, it was another example, kind of you know, pre-internet, of these people doing what they do best is they infiltrate, they co-opt, and they fucking destroy something. You can see examples of that happening all over the place. Go look at Occupy Wall Street. What is it? It's a movement, right? And what was the, what did it start off as? Real simple fucking message, right? We don't like corruption. Who the fuck is going to disagree with that? Who's going to say, no, no, I want my politicians to be corrupt, and I want to get bent over a table so I can get fucked by a bank. That sounds super fun. That's the platform I'm going to run on. Like, nobody would be against that message. So you would think these people would have an opportunity to really connect to mainstream America. But what you see happen is social justice warriors see this going on, and they're like, oh, hey, I can latch onto that and fuck it up, because I'm a narcissist who doesn't think anything I do is wrong. So they join this group, and instead of being about, you know, getting corruption and out of politics and making bankers be fucking responsible, they change it into shit like Native American rain dance rights and no rape zones, and really bizarre shit that really doesn't make any sense. And then they introduce something called the fucking progressive stack. Go look up that video on YouTube if you really want your fucking mind blown. The progressive stack introduced at Occupy Wall Street. It essentially tells people, we don't care what the merit of your idea is or what your argument is. All we care about is where you rank on the oppression scale. So, white guy, you're going to speak last because you're white and you're a man. But the transsexual midget in a wheelchair, that's the person we want to hear from because they're the most oppressed here. Sure, they may be completely fucking retarded, and nothing they say is important or makes any sense, but they're more, you know, they're more oppressed, so we have to hear from them first. And so it started to drive away people. It drove away people that were passionate about it. It drove away people that were moderates about it, and it left all these fucking crazy people, and it collapsed on itself. Look at um, atheism. Look what fucking happened to them. You know, all fedora jokes aside, and all the, you know, bananas up the ass jokes aside. 
you have this group of people that say, hey, we're logical and reasonable, we don't believe in God, yada, yada, yada. We have our own little conventions we go to and tip the doors at each other until the fucking, you know, sun comes up, whatever. And they've got their speakers, they have the prominent figures that they really loved, you've got Dawkins and other people like that. But what happens? Well, somebody says, hey, atheism's not good enough. You need to be atheist plus. You need to be atheist plus a feminist, plus a progressive, plus a social justice warrior, plus this, plus that, plus that. And if you're not that, we're going to tell you you're sexist and horrible. So all these atheists are like, what the fuck are you talking about? This has nothing to do with any of that shit. It's just about religion. That's it. That's all we're really here to talk about, you know? <clears throat> so they come in and they, they fucking wreck it. And they shit up the community. They attack people like Dawkins. Dawkins, who was a figurehead of this fucking movement, who they all respected. You know, whatever your personal opinions of him aside, they liked him, you know, and that was kind of one of their guys, they liked him. And so he asked the woman for a cup of coffee in a fucking elevator, and now, you know, the Atheist Plus community's like, what a rapist! Are you kidding me? So it completely fractured the community, and they had to fight against that to pull it back together. That's what's happening in gaming now. You're seeing a narrative being pushed by extremists, and that's what your social justice warriors are. They are not activists. It's not, you know, the LGBT, it's not the transsexuals, it's not the feminists. Social justice warriors will fuck you up no matter what you believe in. They are narcissists, they don't care. They're liars and manipulators, and they will use you to make a profit. That is what they are out to do. That is all they care about doing. And it is a tactic a lot of people have seen. Look at this Gamergate thing, and not your shield. Look at the people who've jumped in and talked about this. You've got the most hardcore of conservatives who've been watching this happen and have jumped in and made commentary saying, this is kind of fucking retarded what the gaming press is doing. You've got, you know, different minorities, you've got gay people and transsexuals, and you've got the straight white male dude bro kind of shit. You've got people far left leaning, you've got anarchists and communists, you know, people that are in capitalism, people that aren't. It's all these different people, and they're all saying the same thing. We're fucking sick of you pushing this shit on us. Stop. You know, the people you're blaming for ruining everything are sick of hearing it. We just want to play fucking video games. And all those minorities and groups that you say you represent are sick of being used as a human shield to deflect away criticism. Like, it, 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 social justice warriors use the very thing they're saying they're standing up for as nothing more than a token or a prop. They're the most racist fucking people you'll ever meet. The most sexist fucking people you'll ever meet. They don't give a shit about any of that stuff. They don't care what your cause is. They just want to be able to hold up the black guy and say, you can't say anything to me or I'm going to call you a racist. They want to grab the gay guy and say, you, you're going to say something about me? You're a homophobe. That's how they operate. That is their tactic. That's how they shut people up. Anytime you criticize them, they're the good guys. They're, they're fighting for social justice. That's why the moniker stuck, and that's why it shouldn't fucking disappear. They, they want to use it, right? When you say the phrase social justice, who's going to say that's bad? That sounds like a good thing. But it's a complete fucking con job. These people are con artists. They're using the newest buzzwords to make the most amount of money. And then you've got the extremists and the narcissists that really buy into the bullshit and drink the Kool-Aid, and they go and they fuck up anything they can touch. And that's what a social justice warrior is.